Every week on AFTV Picks, we give away £1,000. And all you've got to do is enter our free-to-play competition and go head-to-head with me, win it, and uh, this could be yours. Get involved right now, click the link in the description, and you can play, and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is be over 18 and uh, have some decent football knowledge. So what are you waiting for? Get involved now and you could win yourself £1,000. Hi, welcome along to AFTV Picks. Don't forget, you can win yourself £1,000 this weekend ahead of the Leeds game. All you got to do, the link is in the description right now. Jump onto it. Got to be over 18. Answer some easy questions in your own way. We're going to go through some of those questions in the show tonight. We also got a chance on the show tonight for our guest to win £200, taking us on in the competition tonight, right? So that's coming up. But I'm joined by James, who's here to uh, give me, of course, uh, a breakdown on all the stats of the stuff we're going to talk about. And our guest tonight is not somebody who's ever too far away, but he's a very mouthy guy. Always shooting up his mouth. The other day on one of our streams, he actually pushed me out of the stream. Now, I thought to myself, you know what? Seeing as he's got so much mouth, let's bring him on AFTV Picks and see what skills he has. So we got Cecil on tonight. (laughs) (laughs) What you got your hood up for? Because it's a big entrance. Big entrance. I don't know. I want a bit more of of, um, an introduction there, Robbie. I don't know what about (laughs) mouthy. Listen, well, if you, if you win the competition tonight, you may get that on the next one. Okay. Well, first of all, let's find out if you've got any use. No, but I know you're cheating. I know you said, listen, Cecil dropped me out the stream a couple of days ago, so I want to get him back. I'm going to give him such difficult questions, probably before I was born. No, no, no. The one thing about me, I'm very fair with my questions. Um, You can ask James, <laughs> even though James, you know, did the competition with me um, that time and he made me lose. I was very kind to him. You know, I, I keep the questions real, man. They're never they're never difficult. So people, if, always, people always look back at them afterwards and say, why didn't I get that? Oh. Mm, mm. So if I lose tonight, what? I, I don't take £200 off, not off the wages. If, like, you I win tonight, if you win tonight, £200. Okay. What happens if I lose? If you though? lose, minus £200. No, 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 no. You're welcome to the club, <laughs> Cecil. <laughs> No, I'm not having that. You can't have not eaten for a week. Yeah, I know. What is this about, James? Huh? (laughs) What's this about? Yeah, you know what? When somebody's hungry, they're angry. You know, like a lion in the jungle. That's me, right? (laughs) But anyway, listen. Welcome on to picks. Um, you know the, you know how we drop it. We go through um the picks of the week, and then um we then rock into the competition, which you're going to take part in tonight. Of course, the game coming up this weekend is uh, Arsenal versus Leeds United, um, a fixture that you know I would have really been looking forward to had we have been still going to stadiums. The, um, Leeds play really exciting football, um, but unfortunately, we're going to have to watch it from afar. But it should be a great game. should be a really entertaining game. Two teams that want to attack, especially Leeds. They've been that most exciting team in the Premier League this season. And um, how are you guys feeling ahead of that game? Go on, James. You go. Bit numb, really. The reason I say a bit numb is because I, my eyes are on Benfica. That's not to say this is a throwaway game. It's not to say that I don't think we should win and put out a strong team and give it our all and all that. But I'm more worried about Benfica. That's where the season lies now. And it's really sad that it's got to that. Because if we just beaten Villa, you could put walls down to a blip and a bit of bad luck and then go again, go beat Leeds, try to climb that table. But I don't know. I don't feel as excited as I should. If, if anything, I you, you don't want to be going into that game against Benfica on the back of another defeat, though. Yeah. Free, and of course, that would be free defeats on the bounce. Mm. You don't want to be going into what, like you said, is a make or break game for our season with a record like that and then followed up by City. That could be four on the bounce. Mm. Then Leicester away, five. So mm. we need a win on Sunday. We really do. Yeah, Cecil, I'm, how you feeling? Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to it, Robbie. I expect them to come out um, and press us really, like really high. And I want Arsenal to just pick pick off leads. I want a high scoring game. I expect a high scoring game if I'm honest on Sunday. And I'm looking forward to it. The only worry, the only thing I'm worried about is the Kieran Tierney and Partey 
and I'd, yeah, they won't be available. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that none of them are available. We, we've, you know, we've we've hit that injury prone status again, um, mm. and you know, it's just really annoying because especially when it's your two best players. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know, um, Kieran Tierney, Partey, Saka, Saka all yeah. injured over recent weeks. They're our best players. So, mm. you know, never the worst players that are injured, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> never the worst players. It's always the best players that are injured. Have you ever yeah. noticed that? Um, anyway, the picks for this week um, around the game. Uh, first one, I'm, I'm, I'll pick three out of the ten. And, of course, everybody who's watching the show has a chance to play. And the first one I went with is uh, will Arsenal score in the first half? I've said yes, they'll get one goal. Yeah, I agree. I think they will. You agree? Yeah, yeah. You think, think one goal will... or? Hmm. I think it'll be a high scoring game. I think it'll be a high scoring game. So I think I'm expecting three goals. Hmm. Okay. So you need, what, one in the first half or two in the first half or all three in the first half? No, no, no. One in the first half, two in the second. But I don't know if it's going to be Leeds or Arsenal. I know I'm probably getting slated for that, but <laughs> that's what, honestly. Okay. For Arsenal, what do the stats tell us, James? Uh, not a lot, really. Of our 27 goals, 12 of them have come in the first half, 15 in the second half. Mm -hmm. I guess what I would say is, uh, there's no real stat behind this, but just my impression of Arsenal is if we have a good start, we score goals in the first half. But if we struggle in that first half, we're quite toothless in the second. And that's kind of happened against Villa. The first mm -hmm. half, I know we went down early, but we were playing some nice football and get up the pitch. By the second half, we just actually never looked like we were going to score, even though we were in and around their penalty area. So typically we're a bit better in the first half. I think if we're going to score, I think it will be in that first half. Um, it just looking at Leeds as sort of expected goals conceded in the first half compared to their second half, it's much higher. So they tend to be more vulnerable in terms of the chances that they, you know, give to the other team in the first half. So I'd say expecting Arsenal to score is, is pretty realistic. Yeah. Okay. The second stat that I've gone with, and the second one I've picked out is how many goals will Pepe score? Now, of course, you know, um, me and Yardi, we did, uh, the Bias Premier League show, and we titled it Pepe's Revenge because we want to see Pepe take his revenge. Of course, in the reverse fixture um, earlier this season, he got sent off in this game. That was the game when he'd done the headbutt on Alioski and stupidly, stupidly got himself sent off. Mm. We were very lucky on that occasion because they peppered us after that. Um, but will Pepe get his revenge? Um, I've gone for yes. I've gone for he's going to get a goal in the game. He's been decent so far. I mean, Cecil? Yeah, he's on a run of form. Wait, hold on. Wait, Don, Don Robbie, in the corner, this is changing. Like the foot, this is a nice little feature. What? Can me and James not get a little a little hook up with this? What's going on here? You gotta speak to Jason. <laughs> Jason, boy, this is a nice feature. Um, I can't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Pepe will get his revenge, Robbie. I do, I do. He's been I've been critical of him, I must say. Um, uh, me and your brother have been arguing every week. <laughs> About Pepe, but um, he argues with everybody. Don't worry, watch him. He argues with everybody. Oh, God. Don't <laughs> I know it? Don't I know it? But um, I think, yeah, he'll he'll get his revenge. I think he'll get one goal. I hope he does. I don't think he'll start though. But yeah, I hope he gets. He comes off off the bench, in my opinion, and will score. Okay. okay. What are the stats telling us, James? Um, well, firstly, he owes us once one against Leeds, doesn't he? After. And, mm. you know, I, I won't harp on about it too much, but I don't want to see things like that being a red card in football, especially when there's, I know it's a head, but, but there's so little in it. But whatever, it happened. In the last five games, he's looked very dangerous. 13 shots in those five. And I I don't know how to put it. I wouldn't say he's actually been brilliant in all five of those games, but in all of them, he's looked to danger. Like he might do something even when he's not playing well. That's the impressive thing. 13 shots in five is good, especially when the main goal threats have actually been Saka and Lacazette. Um Seven goals and three assists in 27 appearances. And he's only started in 17 of those. So it's pretty decent from Pepe, despite having another indifferent season, really. The numbers still look good. So how many goals we score? I, I think you could back him to get one. I think we'll find some space down the wings, yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to um, He's going to get revenge. He's going to score. Um, he's going to have his work cut out as well, tracking back those Leeds players because they run and run and run. But... You know, they. He, I think he's a sort of player that can exploit the space in behind. Um, how many corners will Arsenal have? I've said seven. Ooh. A lot of corners, but I just think it's going to be an open game. 
Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that one, Robbie. I don't know what you, <laughs> what, yo, what Magnum you've been drinking. Well, you, what you, don't you, think, you don't think it'll be an open game? It'll be an open, I think it'll be an open yeah. game, but seven corners is, is that's not a regular occurrence with Arsenal. I'm going to say three. I don't know about seven. All James, right, James? that man. Talk back. Listen, what, what know, a fact. Do you know what? Robbie's onto something here. Oh. So oh. only I, only I would spend my Friday <laughs> researching <laughs> like corner stats, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> and I spent a good half hour breaking them down. Um, so Arsenal had the seventh most corners in the league. Doesn't really tell you much. We've had 120. <laughs> Apparently, we, we average 5.7 corners per game. And Leeds average 5.27 corners conceded per game. So in that sort of five to six region is a good shout. But also Leeds and Arsenal are both in the top two for average amount. Sorry, not top two, top five for average amount of corners in their games. Like, can so there's a lot of, I don't know, there's a lot of set pieces for them to attack and defend. It's quite an interesting one, considering it's an area that typically neither are that good in, really. So yeah, yeah, that's the thing. We get a load of corners. We don't do anything with them. It's yeah, really, yeah, really true. annoying. But yeah. um, I think you know we get a lot of corners. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I'm hoping we don't get a lot of corners because I hate watching our corner routines. I honestly do. We just pass it short. Don't know what we're doing. Can't be the first man. Uh, you remember the other day we played one where it was uh, it was played to the edge of the box for it was like a you know when in ones where you play it to the edge of the box for the player yeah. to bang it in. Mm. And I think who did it drop to? Was it was it Bellerin? And he completely miss it or somebody I can't remember. Do you remember? I can't, yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't have been as bad as that um, Harry Winks effort against Everton. Do you see that? <laughs> oh, I saw that as well. Yeah, that's awful. Yeah, that was even. He's, <laughs> he's crap, man. You know what I mean, that was a poor effort, wasn't it? Bless him. <laughs> okay, okay. So those are the stats around that. We're starting to. Yeah, you know what? We're at the business end, man. We're whoa, at whoa, the business whoa. end. Competition time, man. That's no, what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't know if I want to do... Why? What? It's you your time, it's your time to step up, man. It's competition time. Yeah, you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to drop, we're going to drop James out and we're going to, we're going to... Oh, is this it? This is time. This is it, bro. Mm. This is it. I should drop By you way, out here. I should drop By you out. Way, on. Go on. You look, like, you look, like, you couldn't have done. What? Wait a minute. Man's looking like he's had a haircut or something. What? But yeah. we're in lockdown. Your, your missus must be a barber, man. Yeah, she's she's good, you know. She's good with her hands. She's got a little shape up. She's, you know, for the... Yeah. <laughs> I know, you know, when we're at the studio, we, we have an in-house barber, you know, being COVID tested. He's really good, you know, really good. Who's that? Uh, I don't know about no in-house barber. Yeah, there's in-house barber at the studio, remember? He cut your make hair. Sure you, make he sure you stick it to the rules, you know. <laughs> he cut your he cut hair, right? He cut my hair. Are oh, you being funny again? All right. Time for the competition, right? So this is how it runs. You've got six questions to answer, and you've got 30 seconds, right? Okay. Now, if you don't know the answer to a question, what I suggest you do is pass. Pass on that question, and then we can always come back to it, right? Because what a lot of people do, I'm trying to give you tips now to, to help you to win this. Go on. What a lot of people do is they, you know, even I did it when I was when I was doing it, right, is that, they try and be like, oh, well, well, and they dwell on that question. You can always come back to it, but you've got okay. to answer. You've got to um, answer at least four questions right out of the six if you are to win the 200 pounds. And you've got 30 seconds to do it in. Why am I nervous, man? What is going on? What is well, you never been on camera before? What are you nervous <laughs> about? <laughs> right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do right. this. Six easy questions. Easy peasy peasy. All right, make right. sure I'm gonna have to be alive, yeah. These questions when I was alive. I don't want to know 1932. They're all when no. you're alive. They're when all rapper. when you're alive. All they're right. all recent, they're all recent questions. Right. Competition starting now. How old is Reese Nelson? 21. What Arsenal player is on loan currently at Stuttgart? Pass. What position are Crawley Town in in League Two? Oh wow, really? Um, um, uh, fourth, third, third, fourth. What do Willie and Martinelli and Gabriel all have in common? Brazilian. How many Premier League goals has Saka scored this season? Uh, seven. Time Five. is up. Time Five. is up. 
Five, five. Can I change that? Five. Can I change it? I think you it's only, five. No, you can't change that. You said seven. Time oh, is up. I think it is a sister right, seven. You only, you only answered uh, five questions. But let's go through and see how you've done. Who's on the, you could, God. You could, you could still win it. You could still win. Let's get James back in here as well. How many let's do you need? James, James, how do you reckon he did? Terrible. Okay. <laughs> right. So you got to get four. Right, yeah. to win the 200 pounds, right? Otherwise, it's mi minus 200. Um, what do you right. mean minus? Question number one was, how old is Reese Nelson? You said 21, didn't you? Yeah. How old is he? 22? How old? I don't know. I said 20. I said 20. I don't know. I said 21, but I don't know. How old is he? Tell me. He's 21. Well done. You yes! got that right. <laughs> Big up. Good year, what good year, Arsenal 21. Player, what Arsenal player is on loan at Stuttgart at the moment? You didn't answer this, did you? No, I passed. Why do I? James, give him the answer. To Mavropanos. Mavropanos. On loan at Stuttgart. I want to use that question tonight. These questions are when you were born, by the way, yeah? You're right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, was born, right. I was born. Oh, I was here born. we go, you two. Now, here's, here's one that you've definitely got to get right, considering you used to play for them. What position are Crawley Town in in League Two? <laughs> you could never possibly get this right because you get this wrong. You used to play for them. Yeah, but I, listen, we had a bad time. What of... position are Crawley Town in in League Two? Oh, you listen. said fourth. Yeah, that was terrible. I know. I think they're struggling. The answer is twelfth. Yeah, they're mid. Yeah, they're mid. -tay. I knew that. I did know that. I didn't know you where had, you had a one, one in twenty-two chance. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> or a one in twenty-four. He should know. He, should, he, should be, he used to play for the club, right? You know, they say ex-players they follow their club and stuff oh, like that. No. No. <laughs> Listen, right? for all of you that don't know, make sure you check out the documentary on the channel. No, no, no. Oh, so what yeah. you're bitter? What you're bitter? Are you? I, get over no, it, I'm man. I had a bad well, time. Man. Man. Yeah, get <laughs> over it. Man. You should know where they are, right? Robbie's what do Willian, Martinelli, and Gabriel all have in common? That is a very obvious answer, you'd think. And what did you say? So what have you changed it now? I said what did you say? Brazilian. What did you... Ooh. They're all Brazilian? Yeah. So what did you... That's change? correct. That's, that's, that's correct. They're all Brazilian. <laughs> you that right. You've got two now. That's How free, many Premier it? League goals has Saka scored this season? Five is it five? I'm sure it's five. I said you five. said seven. I said five. <laughs> you said seven, and then after the time had finished, you came back and said five. But we've already been out of time. It was five. I knew it was five, man. Oh. Robbie, you're cheating five me. Premier League Robbie, goal. You're cheating me. Right? You're cheating me. Right. Listen, you, were, you you even if you got that right, you still wouldn't win the two hundred pound anyway. What but was you the said question? it. You said it after about thirty three seconds, and then finally the final question, which I didn't even get a chance to answer because time ran out. Was who won the Golden Boot last season? Um, <sighs> Don't let him leave him, James. Let him answer it. Who won the Golden Boot last season? Was it Kane? No. Was it Kane? Or was it Vardy? Ke Ke was it Kane or Vardy? Or was it any of them? Kane. I'm gonna go with Kane. My guy Matt. Jamie Vardy won it. So you oh, got that one wrong as well. Vardy, man. So, Do you know what? All, all this, this. Flopped. You know minus you're cheap. 200, you, you minus two hundred pounds as well in your wages. You can't do Rob, that. Robbie's made four hundred <laughs> pounds in the last week. <laughs> what you do you mean can't I can't do that? You can't do that. What do you mean I can't? I'm on to finance after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm report. I'm reporting you to HR, Robbie. <laughs> I am HR. He is HR. You're looking at, you're looking at HR, right? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is bullying. This is bullying. Right? Robbie's I am the law. Robbie's finance, Robbie's HR. I'm finance, I'm HR, I'm everything, right? So, yeah, you've got a total of um, two right. That's not fair. Rich man. That's not and, fair. You, and you, I'm you, sorry, you, man. I'm you, sorry. You, the you, Crawley you, Town you, one. You're the you're Crawley you're Town you're one. You're a disgrace, man. No, allow it. You're reading the questions. I'm not a disgrace. You were reading the question yeah, when I said Brazil, Brazil. They're all Brazilian. You He's just called this for ages and was like, uh, okay, next anyway, one. People, don't forget, right? AFTV picks, um, you can compete in the competition. It's not as hard as this. All you've got to do is just literally 
just answer those questions that some we we mentioned freedom at the top of the show um if you can match all of those you're on your way to winning yourself one thousand pounds or sometimes you could win a share of it even if you don't get them all right so it's brilliant but one thousand pounds you can win and all you've got to do is um click the link in the description and enter right now it's free to enter doesn't cost you anything all you have to be is over 18 that's it um and just be have a good luck on your side and you could have one grand in your hand after just, that game just to let you know, sorry everyone watching that one grand if you get it wrong if you don't get the questions wrong robbie takes a hundred pound off you so just be aware <laughs> of that okay? no 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 i don't do that i don't do that with the fans I don't do that with the fans, only with you. And it's 200 pounds. Don't forget that. Right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching AFTV Picks. We will be back next week. Somebody else will be in the hot seat. We're going back into the studio soon with the show. So look out for that. But um, thanks for watching. And we'll be back next week. And hopefully, we'll have a winner. Every week on AFTV Picks, we give away 1,000 pounds. And all you've got to do is enter our free-to-play competition and go head-to-head -head with me, win it, and uh, this could be yours. Get involved right now. Click the link in the description, and you can play, and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is be over 18 and uh, have some decent football knowledge. So what are you waiting for? Get involved now, and you can win yourself.